The faith, grace, love connection is righteousness. Well, howdy, folks. This is Stephen Detweiler. Guess what day is? It's Tuesday. See, you thought I was gonna say Friday, but it's Tuesday. Yay for Tuesday, 11, 7, 23. Tuesday, we're in November. This year is pert near over, man. We're coming into Thanksgiving. I got a, I got a chicken. I got a chicken in the freezer, and what I'm gonna do with that chicken is I'm going to cut it up, and I'm gonna make fried chicken in my air fryer. This is gonna be an experiment, and that's what I'm gonna have for Thanksgiving. And I'm also gonna carve out. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have dressing. I'm gonna have mashed potatoes. I'm gonna maybe have some, some, some macaroni and cheese. So I already got these things going, and. You know, I've been doing keto faithfully. I've dropped 40 plus pounds this year. And I don't know, I, I might I might put myself into a, a, a my, my body's gonna freak out, man. My body's gonna freak out. What's all these carbs, man? What's all these simple carbs? So it's a good thing if I eat early, I'll be able to sleep it off. And then get back to doing the right things. But no, keto had, Keto has worked for me, and make sure you do clean keto if you decide to do it. Find all the resources and do it right because it has really uh, benefited. Um, over the last three years, uh, as of this taping, I've, I've dropped 92 pounds and so much better. I have energy. You're, you've taught your body how to, to uh, use the energy of fat and not through carbohydrates, and that's what that switch is that uh, Gundry and others talk about. Um, and it just goes through some study and some trial and error and just be consistent and be be moving forward in those things for your health and we'll talk about that I don't know I got on a little rant I think somebody needed to hear if they were if you're all deciding to do keto maybe that was a message for you that's good we're talking about Adam and his bloodline we're talking about Adam and his bloodline Adam walked with God Adam knew the covering of the Spirit of God Adam knew the Word of God. Adam knew God. When Adam fell, he knew the devastation of the separation from God. There is devastation in separation from God. And we all start our lives in this realm of existence in that separation. But then we have the promised seed. He also knew that God loved him. God saved his mortal life, and God gave him the promise of restoration for all mankind into oneness with God, or at oneness with God. What is at oneness? Atonement. At one mint. Atonement. Uh, you go to Webster's 1828 dictionary and look up the word atone he says it's a simple compound word that means at one so we're at one minute with God in the promised seed and he and, and Adam knew that that the promised seed would come from his bloodline in the promised seed so he knew that he and his wife and he, and and don't you think he was a little uh, uh, questioning when uh, uh, Cain uh, killed uh, Abel. He's got these two sons. Okay, man. These aren't the promised seed, but the promised seed is coming through my bloodline. And then all of a sudden, Cain uh, kills Abel, and then Cain is then uh, uh, kicked out and sent away. But things kept going. God's will will be done. I will to will the will of God today. Pastor Stan Nixon put that in my heart. That's what his, he said, that's how he puts himself into, into check and puts him back on track. I will to will the will of God today in my life and for my life. That's for somebody. Adam lived a life of repentance through a life of hope. Repentance is the, is to turn from the world's ways and turn to God's ways, kingdom ways. We turn from the world's ways 
and turn to God's ways. And Adam, you know, if it got all the way to Noah, Adam had to have been the first example of this. So this stuff makes sense if you're looking at how um, uh, history is, for the longest, longest time was, was, was given from generation to generation. We still, you go to the Jewish culture, man, that's why we got the Torah, we have the Tanakh and stuff, and it's brought down from generation to generation to generation. So the original person to start showing people how to live a repentive lifestyle and a lifestyle of hope looking forward to the promised seed that would bruise Satan's head, stop him on the head, take him out, that's, that's hope. He repented. He kept turning from the world's ways and turning to God's ways. And he would tell his, his sons and grandsons and great-great-grandsons. Remember, Adam lived a long time. He lived, I believe, we're going to get into this, I believe he, he, he was still alive knowing Enoch who walked with God. Remember, there's, there's uh, three people after Adam that the Bible uh, makes a distinction that they walked with God. Two were before the flood and one was after. The two before the flood is Enoch and Noah. The one after the flood was Levi, who is briefly mentioned in uh, uh, Malachi. And I gave you eight characteristics of his walk with God so you could add those to your life. I think I did those last week. Hope is your concrete confident, unwavering expectation that what God has said is your concrete, confident, unwavering expectation that what God said is, which gives you the inner strength to stand on and to act on His Word. When you know that what God said is, you have the strength to stand on His Word. And what is when you do, when you stand on that word and you act on his word, what is that? Now your hope has now manifested into action and that's your faith. These men of God that we're looking at are men of faith. We are men and women of faith. And when we learn more about the characteristics, we're going to get into Enoch. I've been trying to get there, but God's got me on a slow track from Adam to Enoch right now. I'm learning a lot. And like I said, I'm bringing you the stuff that God's bringing me for me. And so if it's going to ingratiate me, in other words, grace me, empower me. Remember, grace is God's ability added to your life to do those things in life that you cannot do without Him. Then, and, and He's bringing those, 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 He's bringing those abilities. He, he, he's bringing His ability added to my life through these teachings, through these revelations, to be able to stand strong in these days of Noah and that's why I'm bringing these to you so you can stand strong in the faith of God walking with God as these men walk with God that we will stand strong in the days of Noah preparing the way of the King Jesus our Lord and Savior I love you God bless you and I'll see you next time